So hello again, my name is Pranit and welcome to my Trading Viewpoint Script series. In this video, I am going to create a trading strategy with EMA bands and RSI. So let's see how it works. Now let's start with the input controls. Input controls. So EMA length 1 is equals to input input dot int title is equals to eml length 1 and then default value is equals to 13 min val is equals to 1 max val is equals to 100 and step increment of 1 create one more so we are going to create three input controls two for ems and one for rsi EML length 2 and 2 so default value will be 13 and everything else remains the same so create one more for the RSI length so here it will be RSI length and then it will be 14 and everything else remains the same now create the trading indicators trading indicators so we need to create uh, EMA bands so EMAs are generally calculated on the closing prices but as we are creating EMA bands we have to create an upper band and lower band so we have to calculate the source based on the high and the low of the prices so EMA high or we can say as upper band band is equals to ta dot ema high and the ema length and the lower band will be lower band is equals to ta dot ema source will be low so this is nothing but uh, the low of the prices so the source will be high and the source will be low to create bands we have to do it like this and then create rsi which is ta dot rsi close and the rsi length so as we have created the trading indicator let's create the buy and sell rules buy and sell rules let me just remove this yeah so buy is equals to so the rules for buy and sell signals are pretty straightforward when the prices crosses and close above the upper band the RSI should cross and close above the 60 level when the prices crosses and closes below the EMA lower band and at the same time the RSI should cross and close below the 40 level. So when these conditions are satisfied we are going to take a buy or sell entry. So buy is equals to TA dot crossover of close and upper band and at the same time the RSI should cross and close above the 60 level and for sell it will be cross under cross under of close and lower band and here it will be cross under RSI and 40 so by exit and sell exit so buy exit will be when the prices crosses and closes below the lower band and sell exit will be when the prices crosses and closes above the upper band so i'm just going to copy and paste this and for sell exit it will be ta dot crossover of close and upper band so as we have created the rules for buy sell buy exit and sell exit let's create the strategy by exit and sell exit so now let's create the strategy so if strategy dot position size is less than or equal to zero i want to enter into a new long position strategy dot entry id will be long 
when is equals to buy you have to set a direction which is strategy dot long so direction is equals to strategy dot long and i'm going to add a comment which is buy and then if if strategy dot position size is greater than zero i want to exit my existing long position so tab and strategy dot close we have to assign the same id over here which is long when is equals to buy exit and then i'm going to add a comment comment is equals to buy exit so now for sell if strategy dot so i'm just going to copy and paste this and then i'm going to change uh, the commands so if strategy dot position size is greater than or equal to 0 and if strategy dot position size is less than 0 the id will be short so I'll assign the same id over here short when is equals to sell when is equals to sell exit comment is equals to sell and here it will be sell exit and direction is equals to strategy dot short so i think we are set all right so we save it and we have to change this to strategy as it is no longer an indicator and overlay is equals to true and i'm going to set the initial capital to three lakhs so i think we are done yeah so add to chart and now uh, i'm going to plot the ema bands plot upper band and plot lower band yeah so save it let's just add some colors to it color is equals to color dot new and color dot green color is equals to color dot new and color dot red so save it okay save again and now we are set all right so you can see we have a cell setup over here and we have a cell exit over here let's just add the rsi uh, i'm going to show you that signals are coming properly so input will be 14 and the overbought will be 60 or so will be 40 so if you see over here the prices are crossing and closing below the ema lower band and at the same time the rsi is crossing and closing below the 40 level so we have a sell setup over here and you can see we have a sell entry at the next candle so after the candle close uh, we get a sell at, we get a sell entry at the market order that is the reason it is showing you at the open of the candle and we exited when the prices crosses and closes above the ema upper band you can see it is over here uh, for buy setup you can see as the prices crosses and closes above the ema upper band and at the same time you can see the rsi is crossing and closing above the 60 level we have a buy entry over here and we have a buy exit when the prices crosses and closes below the ema lower band and again we have a sell sell exit again we have a sell sell exit we have a buy over here we have a buy exit over here so the signals are coming properly uh see we have a beautiful setup over here we got a buy and then we got a buy exit over here so this is on a 15 minute time frame 
and we'll just add the commission with 0 0.025 and if you see at 15 minute it is giving 46 percent return so i just do it for one hour yeah you can see that uh, the initial capital is 3 lakhs and the commission is 0 0.025 percent the net profit is 164.75 and the maximum drawdown is 20 percent although the maximum drawdown is high so we will check on different time frames so one day i think it will not work properly the signals will be too less so which is not which is not the thing that we want so three hours is not working well two hours is working fine so i think one hour is uh, working perfectly well let us do some changes to the settings of the strategy Right, so maximum drawdown is less, but the equity curve is not consistent. So just do it less. Uh, just keep the EMA, EMA length as five and five. All right. So so ten is also working fine. So 13 is working perfectly well, 164% profit. The maximum drawdown is definitely high, uh, but as you can see, it is a very simple strategy with EMA bands and RSI. See if we keep 18, uh, and if we keep the EMA as 13 itself, we can see uh, a huge uh, difference in the return, which is 186%. Uh, and the maximum drawdown is almost the same if we keep it as 13 I guess it is 164 so I think it is 20% 20, 20 difference yeah 20-22% 20, difference so this is how you, this is how you can optimize the strategy from trading view you have to do it manually so I'm going to keep the default setting as 13 and if I change the RSI settings to 9 you can see the max net profit is increasing, but the maximum drawdown is also increasing, and the equity curve is not consistent. So let's suppose if we increase it, so it is not working well. Uh, so if you see, uh, even though net profit is getting increased, uh, the equity curve is not consistent, and the maximum drawdown is high. So this is what this this is definitely not what we want. I think 14 is better so you can see that uh, we get a decent profit of 164 percent the maximum drawdown is 20 percent so remember that I am not saying that you should trade this strategy definitely you can use this concept into your own into your existing strategy to make it better uh, definitely add some more indicators such as Bollinger Bands um, or or Kelta channel or even the directional movement index or the ADX indicator add some different types of volatility indicators uh, see how you can improve this particular strategy so basically this is it with the video so if you don't understand any part of the code all you have to do is go to index trading strategies.com the link is in the description uh, then, you, then you will end up on this page then go to contact us You can just directly text me on WhatsApp or what you can do. I have added the link of the WhatsApp group in the description. You can just join the group and I can send you the code in the group as well. And if you don't understand any part of the code, you can directly uh, connect with me on WhatsApp. and I will make sure to solve all your queries. So if you like this video, please subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this trading strategy. And remember that I have created day trading strategies, pullback trading strategies, as well as swing trading strategies. The link of all those videos will be in the description so make sure to check those videos out thank you for watching this video see you again in the next series